Good morning, everybody. I don't know if Carly already started a vlog, but if not, good morning. I am currently on my way to, I have to go to either Home Depot or Lowe's. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna go Lowe's. And I'm going to be getting, I need to get some wood. I need to get some wood glue. I need to get some wood filler and some screws. Today, I'm going to be either today, I think I'm gonna try it today. I'm gonna to be attempting to build a barn door from scratch now there is a video on it that i was watching and the guy gives like the perfect measurements for it and everything but unfortunately our the space that we need to cover with the barn door is significantly bigger than what was in that video so i'm gonna have to pretty much i have the idea of how i have to do it but the whole everything else needs to be done from scratch now if you don't know me which i know you guys do but you don't really know about like technical skills right like i am by no means a carpenter or any i, I haven't been in any trade i haven't really done any construction type work when i was growing up my dad always wanted to teach me he always said you know come watch me do this or here come help me with this and you know by the time i was interested in all that there was really nothing he had going on that i could assist him with fast forward to carly and i living together and doing a bunch of things around the house starting renovations now i'm starting to learn all of the things that i should have learned earlier on well, like I say, better late than never, right? And this kind of thing interests me a lot. You know, I helped the guy who was doing our shiplap paneling. I helped him put that all on. I, I helped him make the cuts. I helped put it all together. Helped with a bunch of things and have done a bunch of things. Like Carly and I made the shelves, the floating shelves in our living room together. That was super fun. And it's also super rewarding to be able to look in our living room and see like, wow, we made those. Those are a product of us putting in some effort and taking the time to do them. You know what? You do save quite a bit of money on it as well. Me making this barn door, I'm going to tell you guys what the total is. When I watched the video, I think the guy spent about 40 or $50 in parts, but you know, nowadays lumber's a lot more expensive and things have gone up in price since that video was put out. But I will tell you guys how much I spent on getting the, the things that I need to make this happen. And I'm gonna document most of what I'm doing. You're gonna probably see some frustrations, probably gonna be some moments where, you know, I feel maybe stuck on it. But Carly and I have been having a lot of conversations because I do want to learn how to do more things. I wanna learn how to do electrical work. I wanna learn how to do a little bit of plumbing. I wanna learn how to do a little bit of woodwork. I apologize for the camera bouncing, by the way. But I've never really had the opportunity to do those things because I didn't show interest in it when those things were being done around me. So with that being said, we had a conversation and she just told me, she's like, the problem with me is that I don't try to do things because I'm scared of failing or I'm scared of messing something up and I'm scared of it costing more money than it would have. But that is a bad way to go about things in life. And I'm trying to hopefully, you know, and sometimes I still need a little bit of a push to want to go do things, but you know, I'm trying to push myself to actually start going to do things on my own and, you know, not asking for help and not asking for assistance. It's kind of just learning through trial and error because that is the best way to do things. I've gotten, a, uh, I've gotten good at a lot of things that I've done in life that I've tried to do and that I've showed interest in. And you know, I'm, I'm almost 20, I'll be 26 in July. And I've really never showed an interest in working with my hands, really like any sort of working with my hands. But as I've gotten older and you know, you get into like home ownership or just living in a home and you want to learn how to fix things and do things yourself and feel, you know, good about those things. That's where I'm at in my life right now, where I want to feel accomplished by, by doing stuff. Right. And, and that's, that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to I'm gonna try my best and I'm gonna take you guys along with me. So hopefully, I know these kinds of vlogs might not be the most entertaining, but I'm gonna try my best to show you guys what's going on and hopefully you do enjoy it. So I'm actually, I'm pulling up to Home Depot right now because I'm not gonna lie, I got sidetracked talking to the camera and forgot where I was supposed to go, but that's okay because Home Depot has a lot of the same things. So I'm really not worried about it. So we're here. 
I'm gonna get this done. I'll bring you guys inside with me. I don't know how much I'm gonna vlog in there, but let's go. Okay, so I got all my wood. I have four, five, eight, eight pieces of one by eight by eight and two pieces of one by four by eight. So now I gotta get some wood glue, some wood filler and some screws. Okay guys, well, I got all the stuff I needed. Got my wood glue, my wood filler, my screws, all that. Unfortunately, I'm the kind of guy that likes to do things. I have an order I like to do things. I have a, I like to follow instructions, whatever the instruction says. That's what I like to follow it as, right? So with that being said, I went in there and they didn't have the exact screws that the video had told me to use. And so I had to improvise a little bit, but I was talking to one of the people there. And again, guys, like I don't, I know very little about woodworking and types of screws you should be using for certain things. Like, obviously I know there's wood screws, metal screws, finishing screws, that sort of thing. But I'm saying more like how it's going to turn out and what it's gonna look like, because this is gonna be a barn door. So if I'm putting a bunch of screws in it, which I'm gonna have to, you know, I don't want it to look so ugly. So basically I'm gonna drill the screws a little bit deeper so I can, put some wood filler in it and then hopefully I can hide the screws that I have to use because the other ones were more like a, a bronze finish with a really small head on them these also have a small head but they are a chrome or silver finish so you're, you're gonna notice those a little bit more but with that being said I'm on my way back I gotta drop off a package to UPS uh, for an Amazon return I have to do and then we're gonna get started <laughs> Okay guys, so as you can see, I had to run a uh, power cord out of the garage because I am taking up all my room and then obviously my trailer take up, takes up the rest. But I made my cut and now I have to go see if this fits in between here. So those edges are glued on now. Like obviously guys, this is not the finished product, but it will be pretty damn close. And it fits, perfect. <laughs> transparency I messed up I messed up a little little bit but it's no big deal I just have to go get another board so I can cut it to the correct size but I'll show you what happened basically I have this gap here I misjudged honestly guys I did it by eye because I'm stupid the first one I measured and that is actually already in and obviously don't worry about the screw holes because those will be filled but that one's already in that one I messed up babe a little bit I Cut too much off that one, a little, little bit. But I have to go get another board. But that's in. This is all done. Just that's a big mess up. Yes, because I did it by eye, and I was telling him that because I got cocky and I did it by eye. <laughs> but it's easy fix. Yes, I'm gonna go buy another board. But that's one's in. This one's in. Borders on. It looks really good. Doesn't it? Picked good pieces of wood too. I did. Is but this the front? Yeah, this will be the front. See, I like how there's knots in them. You yes, knots that's what I was looking for actually. I yeah. look for a lot of knots because yeah. the shelves turned out really good. Can I come with you? You can. So I just have to go grab that piece of board. You want another coffee? A decaf coffee. Okay. Yeah. Just felt like the of the sure. Yeah. So yeah, this is done. So what do you think? So far, so good though. It looks incredible. It does. I'm shocked. Why? Because I don't know. I'm shocked that you even decided to do it by yourself. But see. I know. I was telling them. I, I was actually telling them that on the way. I said Carly always tries to get me to do things by myself, but I don't want to mess them up. But it's okay. Whatever. That's a little one. Right. But now it was you know not to get cocky. <laughs> <laughs> but I did get cocky, so I'm like, damn, I'm killing this right now. But I did mess up, but we are going to go replace it looks that. Like you're like almost done. Yeah, I am. That's it. We are, I almost spent like five. How much was this all? 200 bucks. What else did you have to buy? For wood filler, wood glue, 
screws and still i was gonna have to spend like five six but if we didn't have such a big entryway this would have costed under well under probably because the boards were about 20 bucks a piece yeah so if if we didn't need so many boards because the opening's so big we would have had some to spare but well, still because to buy one this big i couldn't even find one this a big. barn door is l it a lot of money bucks yeah if I had to yes it. yes okay let's go Last time I put a cut on camera, it was wrong. <laughs> yeah, don't get too cocky because well, you're on camera. Let's show them where we're I at. did, I did. I showed them okay. this. Yes. So we're, so, we're so far correct, hopefully. So far, so good. So far. So far. So we measure it first to make sure that we are in. And we are. Okay. It's weird, giving myself extra room actually. Yeah, it was perfect. perfect. Uh oh, yeah, so thank God you did that. Just taking off sliver by sliver, I'm gonna go crazy. Oh, that fits better. Okay, wait, will it be too small? I don't know. Well, no, because if we keep coming from this way, this That's way. That's true, it gets, it gets shorter. Oh, okay. A little bit more, a little, like a little. Probably one or two more cuts. Here we go. Here we go. <gasps> oh my gosh! Like literally, like one more. Like literally. Wait, can you look at it first to yeah, make sure? These like literally one more, which is good because it's making it a it's a triangle like an angle now. Anyways. I can't breathe. <laughs> no, I seriously can't breathe. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. No, a little more. Okay, wait, I have to see it, like, maybe. You can step on it, you have socks on. I think, like, <laughs> okay. No, wait, 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 you, tell me what you think yeah, first. Yeah, I think so, a little bit. Like, literally, like, can you do half a blade? Uh, okay, <laughs> one more. <laughs> I feel like I'm playing hide and go seek. <gasps> That's it. One more. Wait, what if you do the other side? Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's too much. Yeah, I'm not even on it yet. Oh. <laughs> It's pretty damn close. I would say like one more. Right. Why don't we? Well, well let's do the other side okay. and leave it. No nail it or anything. No. I won't. And we'll see what it looks like with the other side because this is only like something that we would like I would notice. Yeah, you're not gonna. But if you're just like if it's up in the house, you're not gonna notice that. Like it's literally like I would say like point one inch off. Okay. Like. Okay. Okay. Let's do the other side. This is the finished barn door. Well, we still have to sand it, stain it, condition it, stain it, poly it, but for the most part, this is what the foundation of the door is gonna look like. Thank you, babe. <laughs> well, everybody, that concludes today's vlog. Now, I will be honest, a lot of this was very, very easy to do, not, not too complicated, until it came to making the X and the angle cuts. The video that I was referencing, they actually did this quite differently. And honestly, I just, I didn't, I, I don't know. I kind of went off on my own because I thought this would look cooler. But they did an X and an X. I did one big X, right? So with Carly's help, we figured out the angles. And I know it's not perfect, but really, we will be the only ones to nitpick at it and to notice it if we do at all, honestly. Now, I will say, I do feel very rewarded right now. The, the angles were a little challenging and without Carly, I probably would have been stuck for a lot longer and I will admit to that. Now, I do think that, you know, doing something like this kind of builds your confidence to try more and more things. With that being said, one thing that I know for sure that I need to still kind of figure out in my head, and trust me, Carly and I were equally helping each other with this angle cut stuff. It seems pretty easy when they do it in a video, but then when it comes to the real thing, it gets quite difficult, right? So with that being said, it was a success. Now I'll have to do a little wood filler, do a little sanding, do some conditioner, do some staining, put the hardware on the door and hang it. So basically this is far from over. Realistically, it's far from over, but we got, I'm very, very happy with how it looks. So thank you so much for watching guys and we'll catch you on the next one. Bye everybody.